Hi, I'm Pranit. In this session, I'm going to explain character functions in C language. It is also called as C type functions in C. If you see, in C programming language, we have a standard library in that uh, there are several header files included like stdio.h, um, uh, conio.h, string.h, ctype.h. Okay, so there are so many header files we have available in uh, C standard library. So out of those uh, header files, one of it is uh, ctype.h header file. Okay, so when exactly we can use this ctype header file means uh, when we are working with a single characters, the ctype header file is used. Okay, so for strings we have string dot h so when we use string dot h header file when we are working with the string functions string okay string means group of characters okay so character means a single character okay so c type means character type header file so when we are working with a single character we must include a c type dot h header file when we are working with group of characters that is string so at that moment we need to use string dot h header file okay so here uh, if you see when we use character functions c type functions means uh, when we want to work with the uh, or else when we want to work on single characters we use uh, c type functions okay so there are several functions available in c type here a few are there okay so this is the function and uh, this is the description see here is alpha alpha means uh, if you give a character if it is a alphabet it will print as it is a alphabet if you are not giving a not if you are not giving a alphabet it will replay it will return as it is not alphabet okay so i'll show one example you'll get a clear idea okay yeah see this example here so studio dot h already you know why we need to include the standard input output dot h header file okay so when we are working with printf and scanf functions we must use standard input output dot h header file okay why because the functionality of printf and scanf are written inside of a standard input output dot h header file okay so c type dot h when we are working with character type functions what is character type function already here i have shown is alpha is digit is alnum is lower is upper two lower two upper okay so all these are character type functions few are a uh, few more are there okay so these are few of the character type functions so when you are working with these functions you need to include a header file called c type dot h okay so main function next you are working we are working on characters okay so the data type must be always char okay why because we are working with the characters we are working on characters in single character so single character means uh, the data type must be char okay so next one function name what is the function name is alpha we are passing it accepts uh, one argument okay so every function accepts one argument one parameter okay so what is the function name is alpha parenthesis so in the parenthesis we are passing the variable what is the variable name variable name is ch okay is alpha of ch what is ch ch is x okay so what you are asking here if is alpha is character if is alpha is character printf sorry if is alpha is alphabet nothing but character is alpha meaning what is the meaning of is alpha it is used to check 
whether the given character is alphabet or not. So what is the use of is alpha function? It is used to check whether given character in the variable is alphabet or not. What x is? x is a alphabet. So condition is true. If is alpha ch, if is alpha x means it is a alphabet. So printf enter character is alphabetic. Okay. So I will execute this program just check it. See here output entered character is uh, alphabet entered character is alphabet so what here you have given x x means a character alphabet okay so is alpha purpose what is the is alpha purpose it is used to check whether the given character is alphabet or not okay it is used to test whether the given character is alphabet or not okay see here suppose i am giving 7 it is not an alphabet it is a number okay so let me compile this program see here entered character is not alphabet okay so what is the purpose of this function is alpha it is used to check whether the given character is alphabet or not okay clear so which function will check whether the given character is a number or not we have another function called is all num. See here is all num checks whether character is alpha numeric or not. Okay. So first we will see is digit. So already you know what is digit? Digit means a number. Is digit. Function name is is digit. Every function takes one parameter, one argument. Okay. So you need to pass the argument. Argument means variable. You need to pass the variable in the function parenthesis. Okay. So this is if condition. Inside if condition, you are asking, you are checking, you are checking the function, you are testing the function variable. Okay. You are checking the function argument. Clear? So is digit of ch. What is ch? 7. Is digit 7. 7 means it's a digit not a character so printf entered character is digit okay so here you need to change a uh, printf statement so instead of alphabetic uh, you need to write a digit okay so let me see here compile and run so entered character is digit what you have given for ch 7 so you got output as entered character is digit okay clear so if suppose uh, I am not uh, uh, giving digit, I am giving uh, another uh, same like uh, V. Okay. So what you will get the output? You will get the output as entered character is not digit. Okay. Why? Because here I have given V means it's a character. Clear? So I guess you got uh, what is is digit function purpose. Okay. So it is used to check whether the given character is digit or not. Here given character is not a digit. Okay. So let's move. We have another function called is all num means alpha numerical. Al means alpha. Num means numerical. Okay. So entered character is digit or alphabet. Entered character is not digit or alphabet. Alpha numerical means either it may be a digit or alphabet. Okay. So what is the function name here? Is all num. Function name is is all num. Means alpha numerical. Okay. So is alpha numerical of a ch. What is ch? ch is v so alpha numerical means uh, it is alphabet okay so condition is true so it will print uh, first printf statement enter character is digit or alphabet so alphabet is there so it will print the first statement okay. so let me execute this program
so we got entered character is digit digit or alphabet okay so it is a alphabet right so condition is true suppose here i will give a digit 9 so what it will print condition is true alpha numerical okay so this function is all num is used to check whether the given whether the given character is alphabet or digit okay so if it is a alphabet or digit uh, it will print uh, entered character is digit or alphabet means it will print the first statement if part okay so if it is not alphabet or character it will print the else part statement okay so let me execute this program actually. See here entered character is digit or alphabet. Why? Because I have given digit. Clear? So now let me give uh, some different. Uh, I am giving star here. See here. Star is not a alphabet. Star is not a digit. Number means digit. So both conditions are false. It is not a alphabet. It is not a number. Okay, so if uh, is all num is ch that is if is all num is star printf entered character is digit or alphabet. So it is not a digit. Ch does not contain a digit or alphabet. So what it will print? It will print the else part printf entered character is not digit or alphabet. Let me execute it. Sure. See here entered character is not digit or alphabet okay here uh, we have another function called is lower so i guess you know about is lower function what it uh, do is lower means it is used to check whether given character is lower case or not okay. so in ch variable what is there this is capital p okay so it is not a lower case it is a upper case okay so let me compile this program so in entered character is not lower case okay so let me give a small p this is small p so compile and run entered character is lower case okay so in order to not to confuse uh, small a so it is used to this function is lower function is used to check whether given character is lower case or not so it is a lower case so it will print the first pr uh, printf statement okay if condition is true it will print the if if part so entered character is lower case now i'll give capital a so it will check whether the given character is lower case or upper case it is not a lower case it is upper case so it will execute the else part so what is there in else entered character is not lower case okay so like this we have uh, several functions so all the functions are very easy so these are the functions and these are the descriptions okay so if you want to give a, a input from the user i will show here so if you want to give the input for ch variable during the execution time means uh, here you need to write one printf statement and one scanf statement okay scanf percentile uh, d uh, percentile c it is a character okay so address of ch okay let me compile this program so it will prompt you to give an input so enter character here i am giving a so entered character is lower case clear so again uh, see here enter character i am giving capital a enter character is not a lower case okay. so this is how you need to give input uh, during the execution time by using one printf and by using one scan okay so this is all about uh, c type functions in c language you need to import you need to include a header file called c type uh, while you are working with character functions okay so c type functions are used to work on single character functions so if you have any doubts please watch again definitely you will get understand if still you have doubts please comment it so thank you thank you for watching please subscribe my channel to get new updates please share to your friends thank you